Well, these days it seems like more and more kids that you know are allergic to more and more kinds of foods. Up to 6% of Americans, it turns out, suffer from some kind of food allergy. But now researchers at Lucille Packard Children's Hospital are using the often potentially dangerous food to actually fight the allergy. Come on! When you get this kind of a look from a kid, it's usually from a food like this. But for the Hoffman boys, this look of disgust comes from what's in this little plastic cup. I like the taste, but I could save my life with it. And he's not exaggerating. Eight-year-old Baylor and seven-year-old Grady are highly allergic to peanuts. And you don't want your child to... Um, you don't ever want to lose your child over something like this. But after years of staying as far away as possible from peanuts, their mom decided to put them in a Lucille Packard hospital study that has them eat exactly what causes their potentially deadly allergic reaction. Well, I was really nervous when I started the study because... But now, about a year later, Baylor and Grady are eating about three to four peanuts a day, and their mom couldn't be happier. Watching them eat that peanut every day and knowing that they can tolerate it and not have the fear of anaphylaxis is just, it's just the best news ever as a mom. Researchers believe by giving them tiny amounts of peanuts, they're re-educating their immune system so they don't suffer a deadly reaction. What is wonderful is that with daily therapy, you can actually downregulate it. And that over time, what's wonderful to see as a doctor is that these children and these adults are able to take the food item that they couldn't take in the very beginning of the study. Researchers say there's more than one reason for an increase in food allergies, including more exposure to processed foods. But they don't want expectant or nursing moms to change their diets due to food allergy fears. Right now, from what we understand about food allergies, mothers don't have to take anything out of their diet or to change their breastfeeding habits. Doctors also stress the importance of getting the right diagnosis. Oftentimes people think they have food allergies, but 50, 50 to 60 percent of the time it's actually not a real allergy. As is the case for many kids with food allergies, they also suffer from environmental allergies. And they love to play outside. Three of them are allergic to grass, and to limit their outside playtime is close to impossible. Another clinical trial the boys are taking part in at Lucille Packard is called slit therapy. So instead of taking allergy shots at a doctor's office, they get drops under the tongue. Happy they call it the happy birthday you. medicine. Happy <gasps> birthday, dear Grady and Baylor. Happy birthday to you. And that's because they have to keep the medicine under the tongue through one round of the happy birthday song. Slit therapy is already approved in Europe, and if the trial here in the United States proves successful, it could eventually become standard treatment here in the U.S. Something that could make a whole lot of parents happier and ready to break out in song. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> so cute. Right now, Lucille Packard Children's Hospital is the only center on the West Coast that offers a food allergy clinical trial, and there is a wait list of 132 people.